Hello and welcome to the video where I will show you how to factory reset your iPad using the Mac OS Catalina. So before we start this, just bear in mind that when we do this, it's going to wipe all of the contents from your iPad. It will be as if it were a brand new iPad, so all photos, videos will be gone. Second point of note is that if the iPad is locked to an iCloud account, you'll need to know the password to unlock it when it comes back around, or at least the person who has that. So with that being said, let's get into this. We previously, or on previous versions of the Mac OS, we used iTunes to do the factory reset. That's no longer the case. We use the Finder, which is baked into the Mac OS itself. This is, this is the Finder window, and you'll see in a moment that the iPad will appear here. Um, the way I'm gonna do it though, is I'm just gonna close this window. I have a lightning cable here, which is connected to the laptop. And the iPad's right here. So first off, I'm going. The iPad's currently off, and I am going to hold down the home button and slot in the Lightning cable. Hold down the button still, and you can see an Apple logo. And now you can see the iTunes logo. You may have a different logo depending on which iPad you have. Okay, so just turning our attention to the screen, it says here there is a problem with the iPad. Um, you can read this information here, it basically repeats what I've just said. And what we're going to do is go for a restore. So we'll just click that. And it says restore and update. And it now says your Mac is preparing to restore the software on this pad, on this iPad. You may have a slightly different message. It may say it's downloading the software. I've actually already downloaded it, which is why I don't have that message. Um, if you look at the iPad itself, you can see the Apple logo. Um, if you come back to the screen, it's quite sparse. It doesn't really give you much information. You can see you're on the iPad here. Um, but the key thing to look out for is just over on the left hand side, you can see the iPad is here. And you can see this is spinning, which just is a visual indication that there is some activity. So we'll give this a couple of minutes. Okay, as you can see, it says your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPad connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So we just click OK here. And as you can see, the iPad is now ready. So thank you very much for choosing my video. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment to let me know it worked and hopefully give tips to other people as well. And have a great day.